Hey, this is Jeff from TournamentBowl.com, and I am going to show you how you can enter the scores for your tournament into TournamentBowl.com. And this is assuming that you've already got a tournament set up and that you've got some bowlers all set into one of these squads. Here I've got this 1030 squad all loaded up with some bowlers. Some of them are in singles, some of them are in doubles. We've even got some high game pots set up so you can see how that all looks. So it starts with squads. And we're going to work right here on this second squad, this 1030 squad. And there's a section here that's labeled Enter Scores By. And there's three different ways it can look. And it's by lane, or by team, or by game. By far, the, the most convenient and efficient way to enter scores is right here by game. And you can see that you've got all of the bowlers and the whole squad all ready to go there. Um, and they're listed in order of lane and position. type in all of the scores. You can tab one field to the next and click save and green indicates that they're in. And so all our scores are there now. You can click on standings. You can see there's our single standings after the first game. It happens instantly. And there's our doubles. Double team made it in as well. Um, and that's pretty much it. So you hit enter, they're live. So let's look at the couple of um, different ways that you can type those in though. Uh, we could do it by lane. If you do that, you're just going to see as, as you would see the monitors. Now this interface is designed with the idea that you've got um, like lane officials that are score, official scorekeepers on a block of lanes. So maybe somebody is in charge of entering scores for lanes one through four and somebody else is doing five through, through eight or something like that. So they sit there and they just type them in as they see them. You can navigate from game to game right here. Game two, or you can use the arrows up here. And then the third way that you can do it is by team. It's probably the least efficient way. Uh, blue pencil always means scorekeeping. And so you can go to Ben's and just click right there and you're gonna see Ben's set of games. You can type them all in. That's pretty handy if you've got, maybe somebody turns in their score sheet at the end of the tournament and they bowled a three game set and now you're gonna enter them all in or something like that. Now, when you click on that team entry, you can copy them all off the recap sheet just like so. So the other thing that you can do is once they're on the standings, the blue pencil is there, so you can edit straight from there. Just click the blue pencil and it brings you back into the, into the score entry. So it's pretty easy to do. Um, you, you can still try to figure out what the best way is to go about it. You can have people bring their score sheets to you at, this, at the tournament desk like you would with um, other software and you just type them right into your laptop but honestly you don't have to be tied to that desk anymore I walk around with my cell phone and I just log on to tournamentbowl.com with my cell phone and I go right here and I do the score entry and I just walk around talking to bowlers and entering their scores I don't even look at the score sheets most of the time I just look at the monitors and that way I don't have to read somebody's writing they still write them down on their paper because it makes them feel more comfortable and I got a little double check but Honestly, I find it just as easy to walk around and, and look at the monitors. Um, you can also have tournament officials at each desk or, or whatever it is that you want to do. Um, phones work good. You can carry your laptop around if you want. Honestly, a tablet works really well, like an iPad or something like that. seems to be about the right size. But whatever your style is and however you like to do it, tournamentbowl.com can support you. And I hope you find this easy, and I'm hoping you're finding it fun to run tournaments. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below and I'll be happy to get to them as soon as I can.